guys, welcome to another episode of Dunk Place Fez, uh, which uh, pick up where we left off before. Uh, I think that was at the end of the first level I just completed. Um, and I actually sort of have stuff to talk about today, unlike last time, which was sort of just I made up stuff as I went along. Um, oh, I looked in the uh, options and I found out I think back, yeah, back button is uh, your map. This is the world map, so you see where you've been. Okay, um, uh, it looks really confusing actually. I don't really know what I'm looking at, but anyway. And um, why is your uh, inventory with that treasure map, which makes no sense at all? Um, what's that? Artifacts and cube shards. Um, so, anyway, um, if you're uh, watching the video and you are not interested then don't watch it if you're just simply subscribed to me for Call of Duty then um, I don't just don't like to dislike the video just don't watch it it's up to you whether you watch it or not uh, I'm doing this series because I enjoy uh, doing a let's play actually yeah, I found it quite fun after the first one so I thought I might as well uh, finish doing it and um, will there still be COD on my uh, actual channel yes there will still actually be COD I'm not just completely uh, chucking away doing those videos because I still enjoy doing that um, it's just that at the moment I haven't really got time to put together COD videos there might be a kill cams episode in the next few um, in the next week or something and then maybe another one but um, it all depends whether I um, get time to do it or not what's going on there and um, so yeah there will still be COD on the channel guys but just not uh, as much at the moment there will be more of a uh, Fez at the moment, um, and oh yeah, I was looking at achievements. There's one, I think it's what is it? RT, RT, LT, RT, RT, LT, LT, LT. I don't know what I've done. It's, oh my god, what the fuck is that? And um, yeah, one just said that in it, so I'm guessing that's what it is. Um, you found your anti cube for every cube, there's a negative cube, your cubes. So yeah, I I'm not sure if that's just because I've got there or if that's because I pressed those buttons. Let's have a look. That's not helpful. Um, but the achievement is the one that's gone, so I'm guessing that was it. Um, yeah, so I don't know what that actually did. We did something. Anyway, on to um, what I was going to talk about today was basically how I got where I am sort of with YouTube and how I got started and everything. Um, so yeah, I started with my first original channel, which is not the one I'm on at the moment. And um, it, it was some random name channel with uh, numbers in it and stuff or whatever. And um, I started doing Rainbow Six videos because I used to play competitive Rainbow Six. Uh, I used to try hard like most people did back then. And um, so I used to do that. And I made montages on that of competitive games with a few of my friends. Um, and they, you know, they were average. They weren't amazing. They were, they were Sony Vegas editing. That's when I first started getting into putting videos together, basically. And um, so I started with Sony Vegas. And it was just simple uh, music with clips in it, not really much editing, a few effects that I was trying out. And where the hell do I have to go on this game? Now there. And um, yeah, so I kind of got into that. I had a dazzle at the time, so the quality wasn't that great, but um, I really enjoyed doing that and putting videos uh, together. Um, so I got a PVR in, well that was in 2009 when I started doing Rainbow Six stuff and in 2010, at the start of 2010, I got finally got a PVR um, and so I started doing a few more um, editing style things, I mean they weren't they weren't that great but um, you know the quality of my stuff was like, better because it was HD now so I could do more stuff with it um, and then I met Banks uh, in about I don't know about a month or two after uh, if you don't know Banks is competitive sniper and I edited two of his episodes uh, basically when I first started out COD part of um, YouTube I wanted to be an editor um, I still do do editing actually um, and but that was like my main thing I wanted to do was become an editor and um, so I did a few edits for him and it set the ball rolling for me being in the Call of Duty community really um, and 
Then I started playing a bit more Call of Duty uh, because Kinnish got me into playing it. I didn't really play much, I just edited a few things and still played competitive Rainbow Six. And um, so I start, then started up a Kill Cams episode. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Johnny WL, uh, he originally started this series. Where the hell do I have to go on this? Um, and, oh, I see. And um, then I basically started doing it. Um, we, so we started the series sort of together. And then I just continued it, I don't know, he just uh, sort of wasn't doing it as regular as I wanted to. So I sort of started, went off on my own to do it with uh, my friends. And so we started that in about June 2010. And um, I started the uh, Lols and Trolls episodes around then as well. And I'm really lost on this game. This is like, it's like some puzzle game. It's kind of hard to talk and concentrate on what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. What is going on? Oh. Ah, there's a... Have I got a key? I better have a key. For this door. No, I don't have a key. Brilliant. Um, so, anyway. Um, so, yeah, I was doing kill cams and lols and trolls and all that stuff that you see on my channel now, actually, really. Um, but I was doing it all back then. And, um, and then I did my intro, which is the intro that I still use now, actually. Um... Which is a 3D one. That's when I first started uh, branching out into Cinema 4D and stuff. I'm really lost on this game. Like, really lost. I'm going to get out of this area. Because I'm just walking around doing nothing. How do I get out? Oh, really? I'm stuck. Um. Oh, classic being destroyed. Oh, there's the door. Alright. Um. So yeah, by August 2010, I had got 500 subs, which doesn't sound like much now, but back in the day, it was um, to me it was a lot. Um, so I was putting out quite a lot of regular content, and I finally finished an uh, edit for Banks's trailer, which was um, an S his S and D montage trailer, um, and that's pretty much where editing picked up again for me. Um, so the warp gate. This is one of the kind. Of find other gates first when they connect to one another okay um, so yeah I done that and that uh, within a month of that by September I had uh, 1k subs um, so that was a lot back then for me as well to have uh, another 500 subs in one month um, so I kept on with the kill cams episodes of um, and basically back then kill cams episodes were just um, 360 on the floor jump backwards and uh, Scope the guy really, and that was a kill cams episode. This was the time when uh, Zerker and that was doing it still. Um, and I don't know, um, I sort of looked up to his kill cams, that's pretty much why I wanted to continue it because he was doing well. I thought, well, why not do something that someone else is doing well in? Try it for myself. Um, so yeah, I was doing that, and then I started my own montage uh, trailer, I got that out and um, then by October I had 2,000 subs which is so basically 1k subs in another month uh, so I was doing pretty well and um, by the end of October I got my um, first montage out which is called Exposure um, it's still out there somewhere um, It's uh, I don't know how many views it's on now why the hell do I have to go on this? Um, and yeah so by the end of October, I got the montage out. I finished the uh, Kill Cam series. I had done 50 episodes of uh, Kill Cams by then, and um, I so I I sort of stopped that, and because Black Ops was coming out by then, uh, so we thought everyone thought uh, Black Ops will be the next thing that you'll do Kill Cams on, and it'll be all this and stuff. Um, but coming to find out that Black Ops uh, sniping, they had like nerfed most of the stuff so it wasn't that great to do uh, kill cams on. Now now with the patch and everything it's alright to do it on but back then it wasn't that um, great. So um, we sort of did a bit of that. Uh, did, I, did, I did about 15 kill cams episodes on Black Ops before we kind of gave up uh, because it was just, well we heard that people were going back to Modern Warfare 2 so I think we just sort of done that in the end. Um, but I did a few other videos on Black Ops actually. I, that's where I first did uh, commentaries. Um, 
sort of did live commentaries on zombies. Uh, there was like four of us doing it. Uh, there were more like comedy sort of ones. Um, really fun to do actually, but I didn't get um, such good feedback um, as I would from a Kill Comes episode, but then that's to be expected. Um, so then I also did a, I was watching the Mr. Jeff's uh, live wage match commentary, so I thought I'd give a try at that. Um, and feedback on that was sort of mixed. Some people liked it, some people didn't. Um, how is this? Oh, oh, I wonder what this means. Oh, that's helpful. Um, so yeah, I, I tried one of those out, got mixed feedback, and pretty much since then I hadn't really done any commentaries up until recently. Um, I thought I'd give it a try again. Um, and you know I enjoy it so I'll put the content out, I mean I am here to, to get content that you guys enjoy to watch but I mean if I'm not having fun then it's not worth doing it really is it? Um, so yeah, so I by the start of 2011 I had got my montage out pixel sort of like a um, creative um, editing on that or at the time it was creative um, and yeah, and the Black Ops kill cams ended, and we started up Modern Warfare 2 kill cams again. Um, I think that's all I'm going to touch on today for history of. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. Um, of history of uh, my YouTube. Because um, it's been about, what, 12 minutes? I think that's near coming to the end of the video again. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed a bit of. Uh, history of what I've actually been doing on how I got where I am partly today um, and if you do like the video uh, please give me some feedback on what you like about it what you don't uh, whether you think they should be longer shorter I don't know anything and um, sorry I don't have a clue where I'm going on this game um, but you know um, yeah so um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode where I'll pick up where I left off with uh, how I got to where I am on YouTube